Hey y'all, it's Hope and welcome back to my channel. While I hate to say it, school is about to start, which means we are all about to have a lot more things we need to get done each day. That is why in this video, I'm sharing with you some productivity tips to help you maximize your productivity and get the most things possible done. Let's just get into it. My first tip is to create routines. So like morning routine, after school routine, even weekend routines, and kind of experiment with different things to see what can make you the most productive. So for me in the morning, I like to wake up earlier and I have specific things I'll get done. And usually I don't really try and get any work done in the morning. I'll get all my work done in the afternoon after school. And then usually I will come home, grab a snack and then get straight to all my work. But for someone else, they might prefer to do their work in the morning. So they get done anything they need to in the afternoon and then the next morning they'll wake up earlier and get all their work done. So just experiment with different routines to see what lets you get the most things done. Kind of along with that is find what times you're the most productive. So on the weekends, like not at school, I need to get things done kind of mid-morning. So I'll wake up and work out. And once I've done that, after that is when I'm the most productive, after workout in the morning. And then by the time I get to the afternoon, I need a break. And then sometimes kind of later in the afternoon, I'm able to be productive again. Although usually my peak productivity is, like I said, after a workout in the morning. Although once school starts, maybe after a workout right after school. So you kind of need to try out different things. Again, experiment and see when you're the most productive so you can utilize that. Okay. This is so important. Whatever age you are, whatever grade you're in, stay on top of things. So as soon as you get your work, you don't need to do it all right away, but space it out, get a plan for when you're gonna do it, and don't wait until the last minute to do stuff. So let's say you have a certain amount of reading you have to do. Instead of trying to do it all on the last day, or even instead of trying to do it all on the first day, if it's a lot, Break it up into maybe three days, if three days is a manageable amount. So then instead of doing 60 pages all at once, you're doing 20, 20, 20. Space your work out because it makes it a lot easier to get it done without it feeling overwhelming. But also don't procrastinate and wait until the very end because if you do that, you're just going to be stressed and it's not going to be your best work. Kind of along with that is get a planner because this will help you stay on top of things. And when I say get a planner, I mean actually use it. If you're like me, you'll get a planner every year and for the first two weeks maybe, you'll bring it to class and write down stuff. And then you just stop using it. But this year, I'm going to just keep my planner with me and every time I get an assignment or at the end of every class, I'm gonna write down everything I need to do. And I can later plan out when I'm gonna do it all. But having those assignments there helps you to make sure that you don't forget to do anything if you just like write it down right away. Also, just writing stuff down right as you get it might not be the most organized. So if that bothers you, you can then transfer it to like another planner or to a journal or something else, but make sure you write it down right away. And then if you need it to be more organized, you can organize it on something else. Also, if you're not a big fan of planners or planners don't work the best for you, try out different forms of planners. So there's obviously like the notebook basic style planner. I got one this year, it's here. So this is going to be my planner for the year, but you can try different um, planner layouts or you can try like a bullet journal. I've done that for a while, although I think I'm just going to stick with a normal planner this year. You can even try like an online planner like Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. Or recently I've been using Notion and it definitely took a little bit of time for me to figure out how to use it. But once you figure it out, I think it's really nice. I don't think I'm really gonna use it as like a planner, but I definitely am using it and it can be used as a planner. So try out Notion to maybe watch a video or two on how to use it and experiment with that. But it's really important to try out different things and see what works best for you so you can really get the most done in the best way possible for you. Okay, now I'm gonna be talking about things for when you're actually doing homework or assignments or stuff like that. First up, put your phone away. You don't need it. If you absolutely need it for an assignment, then put it on Do Not Disturb and then go into whatever app you have to use and stay in that app. Although if possible, put your phone somewhere that you can't see it or you can't hear it if you get a notification. 
because it is so hard to get work done with constant distraction. If I have my phone out, I'll end up just like playing on my phone or texting people instead of actually doing my work. Put your phone away. You're not going to get anything done if you have it out and you'll end up just working longer because you'll be half working, half on your phone. So you won't be getting any work done, but you also won't be enjoying your time on your phone. So do one at a time and put your phone away. Put it in a place out of reach so you can minimize your distractions and actually get stuff done. Also, take breaks. Working for two or three hours straight is going to be so mentally exhausting and you're not gonna be able to get anything done after a certain point. So take breaks every like 25, 30 minutes. Just take like a five minute break, walk around the house, maybe play with a pet, grab a snack. There's a point where you just can't work anymore and it's more productive to take a break. So take short breaks every like 25, 30 minutes and every few hours take a really long break if you're working for that long. Because like I said, you can really only work or study for a certain amount of time where you're pro until your progress isn't even worth the time you're putting in. And taking breaks increases your productivity and the amount of time that you can actually like work and study for. Finally, I think it's really helpful to have like a specified workplace, whether that's your desk or the kitchen counter or dining room table, just a spot where it's like, this is where I'm gonna get work done and this is where I don't have distractions. Pick a spot that has minimal distractions, but also has like a chair you can sit in and like a table that you can work on because usually you are gonna be less productive if you're working on your bed or on your floor or a couch or something like that. So I think it's really nice to have a specific spot where you know that if you're there, you're getting work done. Also, it's okay to not always work in that specific spot. Like I do a lot of editing just sitting on my bean bag or I'll do homework on the floor sometimes. But if you're struggling to get stuff done or you're feeling like you're not being productive, I've noticed for me personally that if I just move from my bean bag to my desk, that just increases my productivity because my brain associates with my desk with getting stuff done. So sometimes if I need that reset, I'll move to my desk and my brain knows I'm getting stuff done. So have a spot kind of like that and get your brain used to knowing, okay, when I'm here, I'm working. So those are all of my tips for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I do have some other videos where I talk about productivity and motivation and stuff like that. So if you wanna go check those out, I'll try to link them in the description. But I hope these tips help you out going into the school year. If y'all liked the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like it, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!